I am going to be talking about slow dive again, because I just love them so much. However, this is not really another video wherein I talk about my love for the band. I will be talking about my experience on learning a certain slow dive song on guitar. Today, I will be talking about slow dives dagger again. For the past days, I've been trying to learn dagger on guitar. It definitely seems like an easy song to learn while you listen to it, but that is surprisingly not the case. Don't be fooled by the simple idea of Neil Halstead and his acoustic guitar strums, because this is not just played like some generic pop song, although it seems like it. The chord progressions of the song are what make the learning process challenging. I just can't seem to figure out most of the chords. What the heck are these chords, and what in the world are these chord shapes? They sound good, but I've never really encountered them before. I tried to cheat my way through it by applying power chords, but that somehow didn't work. I use power chords whenever I try to figure out the rhythm section of a song, so that I don't have to learn the complicated guitar chords like E flat diminished or C sharp major 9, but it just didn't work in this song. I have this feeling that that is something unique about shoegaze guitar. Shoegaze tends to have weird chord positions that sound extremely dreamy, wherein you seem to usually have to hit every string when you strum. If I'm not wrong, bands like My Bloody Valentine and Sonic Youth do a similar thing, although I wouldn't consider Sonic Youth to be primarily shoegaze. In fact, Sonic Youth may not even be considered as shoegaze at all. However, I do believe that Sonic Youth was a big influence on shoegaze becoming a thing. If learning shoegaze songs like this can be challenging, what more when the distortion effect is on? You'd be listening to such a dreamy rhythm which you wouldn't be able to pick up right away when you want to learn it on guitar. The lead guitar stuff tells a different story though when it comes to shoegaze, at least for me. Basically, I'm trying to say that it's easier to pick up lead guitar parts when you're trying to learn a shoegaze song. The reason for this is that playing notes along with the beautifully chaotic distorted rhythm guitar seem to actually separate the rhythm and the leads very well. The leads are almost always pretty clear. Another thing is that the leads never sound too complicated. The leads are simple but they do serve as the extra toppings for the chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream, which in this case is the shoegaze song, especially the rhythm guitar section of it. I related shoegaze rhythm guitar to chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream because it is something considered as good, while it is alone. But when you add extra toppings such as marshmallows, brownies, or in this case, lead guitar, then it would add to the beauty or the awesomeness. Shoegaze songs can also be seen as chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream because of how sweet it is. I guess shoegaze can be considered as ice cream for the ears. So yeah, shoegaze rhythm guitar is something else, and slow dive is a great example for that. It is unusual in music for the rhythm guitar to reign over the lead guitar, but shoegaze made it happen. People could easily say that Angus Young stands in front of Malcolm Young, because Angus is the ACDC lead guitarist. People could say that Slash stands in front of Izzy Stradlin, because Slash is the lead guitarist of Guns N' Roses. However, whenever I watch Neil Halstead and Rachel Goswell performing in Slow Dive, Rachel seems to be the one in front of Neil Halstead whenever she does the rhythm guitar. Same goes for Neil Halstead when he does the rhythm guitar, because I noticed that Rachel and Neil switch positions sometimes. Well as of this moment, I'm still trying to figure out how to play Dagger by Slow Dive. I really thought that it would take me a few minutes to learn the song, but it appeared to be longer than that. I'm not giving up on it though, cause I really wanna learn it and maybe even perform it live one day. If I'm ever gonna perform Dagger, I'd do the electric version because I love that version so much. I'd also need someone who could do backing vocals like Rachel Goswell. Well that's a dream. How about you? 
What shoegaze track or song do you love the most, in terms of guitar? <laughs>